Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about this unit that I am wearing right now. <laughs> She's a beauty. But first off, thank you to Her Given Hair for sponsoring today's video. So I want to show you guys this unit, which is their pre-styled wig, which is named Feeling Mighty. Let me just give you a 360 really quick. Okay. Just look at this beauty. She's gorgeous, darling. Absolutely stunning. So again, this is their Feeling Mighty wig. It is one of their pre-styled wigs. They do have a selection of pre-styled wigs where it comes pre-colored, it comes pre-styled. 14 inches, wind stretched, of course. So going down to right above my breast is 14 inches. And there is some color in there. I would say it's like a 33, the color. And it's like highlights. It's not like an ombre. It's not where the roots are 1B and the ends are one color. It's just hints of color here and there. You'll see it once um, I show you guys once the how the hair looks coming out of the package and things like that. But again, this is uh, 14 inches, it's pre-styled. This is a Swiss lace and it is 13 by six. I did take about an inch off each side so it can match up right along my hairline. So it comes about down here, 13 by six. So it's 13 inches from ear to ear and then six inches from the um, hairline right here to right here. And then on the sides, I would say it's given maybe two inches on the side, but around this section, it's about six inches. So you have the free will to do side part, middle part or side part so it has a free parting area for you. This also is a 100% human hair, so there are no um, synthetic strands in it whatsoever. And this unit also did come pre-bleached. You are able to select whether or not you want to have it pre-bleached. Um, the hair volume before styling is about 140 grams. The hair density is 150%, which is my preference. Like 200 is very dense. And I prefer that maybe more so for like uh, Brazilian straight or straight or body wave. But when it comes to curly texture, 100 or 150% density is just my preference unless you like it that way. So for this wig, I want to try something a little different. This is a hairstyle that I've always wanted to try on my own hair. I just haven't been able to because my hair is damaged or my curl pattern is just different. But finger coils, I feel is such a beautiful style. It's like two styles in one because honestly, if you do your hair in finger coils after a few days, if you want to, you can then start to unravel them and then you can wear like a curly fro if you get what I'm saying. So I want to try a finger coils on this wig and I feel like it kind of revived the wig and it gave it a completely different look. But I've never tried finger coils and y'all it is so thinking gorgeous. Like look at the hair. If you didn't know me, I swear for Lord, you would think of my hair if you see me walking down the street. Like look at this. It is stunning. It's so pretty. So freaking pretty. So again, in this, so again, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how everything looks once I received it and how I styled this wig. It took maybe 20, 20 minutes to style this wig. It doesn't take very long at all. It is um, kind of intricate because you know finger coils requires you to twirl the hair around your finger or your hand and over and over again, over and over again. So I mean, it's like really a flick of the wrist, but anyways, we're gonna get into styling this wig. Um, if you wanna know how I styled it and how I applied it, because I did use a new product and I'm applying my wig today and I'm kind of nervous i don't think i'm comfortable enough to go to the gym with what i used but it is it's not going anywhere for now but when i start sweating that might be a different story baby so if you want to know how i achieved this look how i applied this wig and a little bit more about this wig just keep on watching all right everyone so my package came delivered dhl and this is the packaging that her given hair units come in where you get clip-ins whatever you decide to choose it comes with a pamphlet that teaches the um, shows you the aftercare and how to care for the hair how to prep the hair things like that and then you also get wig clips extra things like that for your unit this is how the unit came it's always perfection i can never complain about the packaging the packaging is always top tier um the knots are bleached as you can see you can have deeply bleached or slightly bleached those are the options um 
but to style the swig i went ahead and put it on my mannequin and i was very curious on how it was going to turn out finger coils i feel is just a beautiful style on natural hair i never thought to do it on a wig but i figured why not i've tried everything else i tried twist outs braid outs flexi rods perm rods you name it but i've never tried finger coils and with this unit being short i figured it would really look gorgeous so i went ahead and just spritz each section with some water and use some mousse i do prefer to use mousse over any creams or gels just because dealing with curly hair um specifically um uh, wigs or whatever i feel like mousse does the job without having that crunchy hold and without causing too much buildup. but i wanted to also give you guys like a quick zoom in on how the curls look once you apply some water to it it looks completely different um than how it is when you receive it in the mail now i'm just gonna start my finger coils um there are tools that you can buy you can use a comb i just find a comb like a rat tail comb it's just more tedious for me they do have these things um i forgot what it's called but you can put it around your finger and it will like prevent the hair from snagging on your skin and then um yeah so i'm just going to take each section detangle it really well and just twirl the hair around my finger and then that is the outcome of finger coils And I want to also show you guys a comparison of how the hair looks once you apply some water and comb it compared to how it looks once you do finger coils. I do really like finger coils um, as a hairstyle because again, it's like a two in one. You can wear it in the finger coils for like a few days or whatever, whether it's your a wig or your own hair. And then after a few days, you can like unravel it and kind of make it look like a twist out or like a bunch of Shirley Temple curls all over your head. It's, I don't know, it's just really cute. I'm just going to go ahead and continue this process all throughout the wig. So this is how the wig look in comparison to the coils and how it look once it's fresh out of the package. It is so stinking gorgeous. And I think that hint of color really kind of gave it an extra oomph, if you know what I mean. And it's just so pretty, so freaking pretty. I would definitely go back in and color the, like bleach the tips even more so it can be brighter. Um, but anyway, this is the next day. The hair is completely dry by now and you guys, it looks so freaking pretty. So I applied the wig using the Eben Lace Spray. This is my first time using it and you guys, I was struggling. I didn't really want to focus too much on the application. I really just want to focus on me styling the wig, but I figured I would at least show you guys, you know, me applying the, uh, the wig, but from what I... The videos I watch, they say that what gets it to stick is you having to lay it down with like a scarf or, you know, something to tie around the hairline to kind of like lay it in place. So I was doing that and um, using the blow dryer. Y'all, I, I was struggling. Like me personally, I like the hairspray because it seemed very easy, but I'm so used to using glue. I would much rather use glue. And I feel like once I applied water to my hairline when I took it off, when I took the wig off, it came off so fast. So I'm like, okay, this might not work if I was to go to the gym because I go to the gym. So I'm like, maybe this will be something I can use just if I want to wear a wig for the day, but not for um, days at a time. So this was me taking the scarf down. I was super freaking nervous. I'm like, okay, it's looking all right. And if you guys see me talking, I was on a FaceTime call, but I went ahead and took my razor and I went ahead and just cut off the extra lace. And y'all, it is so freaking pretty. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh, I wish my hair grew like that. I'd be so freaking happy. 
But anyways, you guys, I'll be back in just a minute to go ahead and finish out this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you like it. I really, really like this wig. It came out super stupid cute. What? Super stupid cute? You know what I meant. I'm tired, baby. But it's pretty. Absolutely. I definitely was feeling mighty with this hair. For sure. you guys that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and if you are interested go ahead and check out her given hair i will leave the link in the description box below directly to this wig as well as all the details about this wig uh, thank you all for watching thank you for tuning in i look forward to seeing you on the next one so until then peace two fingers I'm a drinker. I'm